this video, I'm going to show you a simple little concept that you can use uh, to defend trips tight end, especially whenever people like to motion over. Really one of my favorite defenses in the game for trips tight end for a couple different reasons. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And in this video, we're talking about the nickel normal. This can be found in the San Francisco 49ers playbook. I just did a defensive ebook on this. And if you want to get access to it, it's on my Patreon. So if you're not a supporter of the Patreon yet, I'd really encourage you to consider it. And the reason why is because for just 10 bucks a month, you're going to get immediate access to literally every single piece of exclusive content. Every every exclusive tip, every offensive and defensive ebook, every pro player breakdown is all available for one price of just 10 bucks a month in my Patreon. So if you want to sign up for that, there's a link in the description of this video. Let's get into this concept against Trips Tight End. Now, I think Trips Tight End, I would argue with anybody that if you were going to ask me which is a better offense, Bunch or Trips Tight End, I would tell you Trips Tight End is better every single time. And the reason why is because of a couple reasons. For me, I really think that the spread feel is, is really effective. Um, the ability to motion over, create two-by-two two sets, the routes that you get out of Trips Tight End, the bombs out of Trips Tight End, I think are really, really effective. There's a play in Trips Tight End that literally can bomb um, pretty much every coverage in the game and so for those reasons I really really like this defense but I wanted to talk today about a defense that I also or, or I really like that offense for but I wanted to talk today about a defense that I like to use um, specifically when people are uh, running this formation now uh, what I like to do is put the cover three buzz and the cover three buzz match week in my audibles for this both of these two defenses work hand in hand and it's one of the main reasons why the San Francisco playbook is so effective um, but what we're gonna do to illustrate this is we are just gonna come out in the cover three buzz match week and uh, we're gonna talk about kind of the way the coverage should work and then we're gonna talk about a little fix so what we should get from this hook curl defender, and Madden kind of breaks this down, for whatever reason, the only coverages in the game that match against trip sets, in my opinion, are palms, quarter, six, nine. Um, where when you get into the cover three buzz match, um, or the cover three uh, buzz match week, or the cover three match, they don't really match when they're in a three receiver set, and I'll show you kind of what I'm getting at. So uh, if you watch here, this crossing round to Godwin, if I run this this basic setup here out of PA counter go, what you'll see is this crossing route's not gonna get matched even though we're in a, what's called a quote unquote match defense. The same would be true if I ran Godwin on a corner route. So if I go to PA slot corner, you'll see here I can run Godwin on this corner route and he's wide open. So we're in this position where the defense really doesn't work the way it's supposed to. What we want to see is we want to see this top overhang defender or this top right of screen safety. We'd like to see him match onto Chris Godwin a little bit better than he currently is. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to go ahead, and I've talked about this a couple times. Um, I've, I, I really think this is one of the better adjustments for trips tight end that you can get. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to put him into a inside quarter zone. And what you're going to see is by putting him into that inside quarter zone, if they run this same route combination out of trips tight end, what you're going to notice is now this inside quarter is going to match onto that crosser and carry him all the way to the sideline and basically run him out of bounds. So it plays the route much, much better. But it doesn't just stop there. What you're going to notice within this concept is, let's say, for example, that I uh, put the inside quarter adjustment on the field. And then what a great candidate, in my opinion, to use her in this defense would be this guy right here, this hook curl defender. What I like to do at a nickel normal is throw a three wreck and a QB spy on the field, and then I'm going to be in the middle of the field kind of concept, right? But what you're going to notice and why I really like this concept is because it's not just good against PA counter go, but it's actually good against majority of the routes. You see here from PA slot corner, what you're going to notice here at the snap of the ball is that that quarter defender is going to run to the sideline and basically play him. Now, if I wouldn't have got him a misaligned, he would have played much better. One other little pro tip that I like to do with that specific defender because of his role on the defense, I really like to bring him over the center. It kind of looks like I would maybe user him in this example, but actually I'm usering Kyle Duggar, if you will. So this is another little tip. Uh, for utilizing this concept but what you're going to see is they go to PA slot corner they're trying to flood uh, the trip side and this inside quarter just has a great opportunity to be able to get over there and guard that corner as long as it doesn't run into anybody 
uh, which for whatever reason in this video he keeps running into people. Um, but not only can he guard the crosser and the corner, but he can also guard this play from curl flat, which is really popular, uh, where we just simply streak uh, the tight end. So what you're gonna see here, again, we're just gonna put him in inside quarter, bring him down over the center just like this, if you will. And I really like bringing these quarters down into the box. I think it helps him a lot in the coverage. But what you're gonna see is he's gonna essentially run this route and stay with that that post route all the way across the formation. So it's a great little adjustment for two by two uh, sets. Now, the other thing that I like to do is, let's say for example that we get ourselves in a situation where they motion out of this set. So you have this guy right here, right? And, they, and, and you've already brought him down in the box. And let's say you're set for a three by one. Well, cover three match does a really good job. Any kind of cover three formation, it does a really good job of matching formations whenever they motion out of this. So let me give you a concept that is very popular and that you're gonna see online. Something like this is a great little motioned over setup out of this formation. Well, we're typically gonna be using this guy right here. So what I like to do is if they motion, I'll simply audible or check back into the same exact defense and then just click onto the same linebacker and what you're gonna see now is I'm just responsible for carrying these crossers, but as you can see, the defense does a really, really, really good job of matching those different concepts. Um, the beauty of this defense is, in my opinion, found in the fact that it can easily adapt to trips tied in in multiple different directions. Let me show you another setup real quick here. This is one of uh, another popular setup out of PA slot corner. So again, we're in cover three buzz match. You've put this guy in the quarter zone, and then you've brought him down into the box. And then what I, like I said, what you could do here is, again, if you want to, you can use your, this guy and leave this guy in the hook curl um, to make it a little easier. You don't have to audible or anything um, once you see this. And I'll just show you your primary responsibility is just, again, to carry. So if there's any crosser. So if I'm over here, I'm still in buzz principles or match principles. And you'll see the seam flat will carry. And you see here, I mean, it does a pretty good job across the board. Now, let me show you that concept one more time. And I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, another thing you could easily do is audible into the cover three buzz match, which is another easy audible that will help a lot too. Uh, but anyways, let me show you PA slot corner one more time. So we're going to streak, slant, curl, and then we're going to motion this guy over, right? So it looks like this. Now on the defensive side of the ball, by this point, we will have set up a defense that basically looks like this, if you will. Okay. So when we see this motion, what we can do is we can audible into this cover three buzz match and all we need to do is pinch our defense and now we can still use the same guy, right? So you're gonna see now, you see this right here? And then all we do, if we have time, we can easily adjust those guys. But as you see, we're sitting in this area right here and we're just working these underneath. And as you can see, the defense plays really, really well uh, against that type of formation. So you can really utilize the cover three buzz match, the cover three buzz match week together to create a really nice little cover three stubby type of defensive look that is going to be very effective uh, against trips tight end. So if you if you enjoyed this video, you want to learn a little bit more about this defense or a little bit more about match defense in general, or you're just looking to get better at the game, I would really encourage you to join my Patreon. You can get the full uh, Nickel Normal ebook by joining that Patreon, but you can also get access to every every guide I have. I have 13 offensive and defensive ebooks. I've got several pro player breakdowns. We've released several exclusive tips over the last couple of weeks into that membership on match defense. So if you're looking to get better, that's the best place to do it. So if you want to join the Patreon, head on down to the description. I put a link right at the top of that description down there. And so you can click that link and go check out the Patreon. Thanks for your time. Hope you have a great day.